Hey guys, today I'm here with a quick look at some British toys, TV toys, um, from some of our old favorite shows. Uh, these are all pieces that were donated to the cause, shall we say, by a fellow collector. And um, many of them will be going up on eBay, so if you're interested in buying any of them and you're watching this video new or relatively new, they will be in our Boris Basement <coughs> store. But um, I love them because they're TV toys. So let's take a look. Let's start with, I will leave him. Let's start with this box. Let me see if I can get in closer. So this is a box of Captain Scarlet Konami little uh, figure, little um, vehicle models. They call them pre-colored figures because they're not kits. You don't really build them, although some of them do have loose pieces. There is a set. Um, we do not have hers. She's kind of rare. Um, and I'll show you them individually. So um, he had them all out and on display and then just saved all the boxes flattened, which is a lot easier than the boxes the way they were. Um, I am a Captain Scarlet fan. I used to watch it a lot when I was a teenager, but I will not remember the names of all these cars. And since they're in Japanese, I don't think I can tell you. Oh, maybe I can. Actually, take it back. So this one is the Spectrum. I swear it says saloon car. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I swear that's what it says. That doesn't make sense. But anyway, I swear that's what it says. <clears throat> and then it comes with a stand that you can put it on. Um, the blue one is the Spectrum Pursuit car. Actually, I'll take this one out and see it there. Pretty neat. Um, they're, pl they're plastic, but they're pretty heavy duty plastic. Spectrum Pursuit vehicle. Spectrum is green. Is that what they used to say? Captain Scarlet, doo -doo 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 -doo, and the Mr. On plan to conquer the earth. Oh, I love it. And we have the maximum security vehicle. That would be this one. Pretty cool. I came to Captain Scarlet because I was a big UFO fan. And um, you'll find that um, Ed Bishop's character is kind of the same character in UFO as he is in Captain Scarlet, Captain White. And um, hey, for puppets, they were good looking puppets. Uh, you know, Captain Scarlet was one good looking dude. Um, this is the, I think, mm, is not, let me try again. This is the Spectrum. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get better glasses. Harrier Jet? Have to tell on that one. This is the Angel Interceptor, um, and I think this was long before Charlie's Angels. The female uh, pilots and operatives in Captain Scarlet were called Angels, and again, it comes with a really nice stand, so you can put it up. And I think there's one more. He's all back in here. Is this one, which? I do not see the name of, it is listed on the back, so it's kind of a helicoptery uh, pontoon uh, helicopter because it's got pontoons on the bottom to land in the water. So again, if you ever used to watch woo, UFO, um, these are, you know, a lot of the vehicles are quite similar to what you would see in UFO. Now, if you are an eBayer, um, when they have the entire set of these, they sell in the $70 range, but I'm thinking it seems to be more popular individually, I guess, because people are finishing sets, sorry for all the crinkling, finishing sets that they don't, um, that they're missing cars on. So we're probably going to put them up individually, which is a little bit of a pain, but I think um, that'll be better for everybody. That way, people who need to finish out their collections will be able to do so. All right, let me just <clears throat> pop the lid back on these so they don't get lost from where they need to be. All right. And next we have some Doctor Who's. Let me write you here. Oh, and a dead Cyberman. Oh, we'll save it. Let's talk about him first. So um, I've got a loose Cyberman. I actually have two loose Cybermen. This one has this gun. 
he used to talk <clears throat> and if he still talked he'd be worth a lot more um you probably can change his battery but i can't figure out where the battery is so yeah i don't know about him this one okay somebody tell me is this a cyberman gun it seems to be somewhat in scale but it doesn't really match the ones i see in the other so i don't know if you know this what this gun is let me know because I don't want to not put it with a Cyberman if it goes with him. And this one is a 2006 maybe Cyberman. Uh, nice figure, you know, no packaging, but he's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we have a Cyberman in his package. Now, I have three. You're only going to see two here. I have a third one that's already listed. These are. These are both from Tomb of the Cybermen. Um, this one is just the Cyberman by himself. Includes collect and build cyber controller parts. Ooh. And you know, we have a giant cyber controller, sorry, up on eBay right now. It's huge. It weighs 30 pounds. It's like a foot tall. It's crazy. This one I really love because this is the black and white line that you could get in the UK, but here it was a Comic-Con exclusive in 2009. And I have, this is the second Doctor, and we also have the first Doctor set, which has a Dalek and the Doctor. Um, like I said, that was already listed, so I don't have it here to show you. Very nice toy. I love that they made it black and white. Uh, and it looks like they did it for eight Doctors. Oh, look. I didn't even notice that before. There's the Comic-Con exclusive number. The other one is a Comic-Con exclusive as well. Still sealed. Just this 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 gray tone, black and white, you know, grayscale tone they did on these is very, very nice. So um, I've got these up. This one will be up if it's not right now. It'll be up in our store very soon. If you want the second Doctor, the first Doctor is already up. Um, and you know what? This is just, while I'm here, this is a random little thing. This is kind of like the Konami... Um, Captain Scarlet's, but this is Furta, and it's from Star Trek, and this particular one is this Phoenix ship, which I didn't even recognize. I feel like a bad Star Trek fan. I recognize the other ships. I did not recognize that one, so um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what it, that one's from. Um, it might be. It looks like it could be from Voyager or one of the other shows, and again, it's all written in a foreign language, so I cannot read it. Japanese, I'm assuming. Um, you know, not a lot of value in that little guy because he's open, but pretty cool. Oh, one more Doctor Who thing. So this was part of a larger playset that sadly most of the pieces were missing and the box was really destroyed, so I got rid of the box. So what we're left with is uh, Bessie with the Tom Baker Doctor Who in the card. This is a metal die cast from Corgi, and then it comes with this figure, which is a plastic figure. I said there was a Dalek and I think a bunch of, maybe a Cyberman and some other figures in the set, but um, this is all I have left. He's kind of, eh, this is really cool. If you don't have this collectible and you don't, especially if you don't want to invest in the entire set because the figures themselves aren't that super, um, you can get it from us, just the car with the one figure. So at a very reasonable price, we take offers on everything. It will at least listen to your offer, so make it fun. <clears throat> and then, the last thing I want to show you is this guy. Check out this face. Look at the eyes. Wait, let's see if I can get a better look at the eyes. Ah. This is a were rabbit from Wallace and Gromit. He's stuffed. He's got some weight in his butt, so he sits. He's got these crazy funky teeth and these big eyes. He's pretty tall. I think he's about a foot tall. Nine inches or ten inches. Um... I also have a Wallace and Gromit Wear Rabbit playset that came with a cell um, from the cartoon in the back of it, and it looks it looks like a set of inside of a building, and the cell itself looks like a framed photo hanging on the wall. It's pretty smart. And again, sorry, I if you go on eBay, you'll find it. Um, we already listed it, so it's already packed away, which is our procedure after we list so um it that one is from curse of the were rabbit but oddly there's no were rabbit in it and then this one doesn't have anything to do with that other than the fact that it's from the same cartoon he's so fluffy look at his tail and fun um very cool so he's up right now 
And I think that's all I'm going to show you right at the moment. I do have a bunch of more Doctor Who, I think. Star Trek, phasers and guns. I'm going to put those in another video because um, I did really want to share all these collectibles with you. Like I said, our friend's cleaning out and he sent some really cool things our way for, you know, you TV movie toy collectors. Are you a Doctor Who fan? Why don't you leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite, who your favorite Doctor Who is. And tell me if you collect, if you collect, um, what you collect, what kind of things really turn you on, like, you know, Comic-Con exclusives. If you had this, would you have to have all of them? Or are you like a very one Doctor specific person? I would love to hear. Or are you a Wallace and Gromit fan? If you're that, leave me that in the comments too. So that's what I've got right now. I will be back with more, hopefully in another day or so.